and welcome to New Book Tuesday, Youth Edition. I'm Andrea. And I'm Laura. And we're here to tell you about all the great new books that we have coming into the library right now. Over in the teen section, we have The Cost of Knowing by Brittany Morris. Alex is doing his best as a young black teenager in America right now. He has the ability to see into an object's future when he touches it, which is fine when he's scooping ice cream at his job or doing, you know, regular things. There's not much of a future in a scoop of ice cream. But when he sees a vision of his brother's death, that's when he has to get serious about things. He's in a race against time to save his little brother's life and to find out what it means to be a black teenager in America. The children's room has a little spate of series books having come in. First off is number 12, the long-awaited number 12 in the Ivy and Bean series. The girls get to work. We also have the sequel in a series by our own Wisconsin author, Kevin Hankus. He started off with the year of Billy Miller and now it's Billy Miller Makes a Wish. Perfect for the second, first, third grader in your life. Now for a slightly older chapter book reader, we have the follow up to the Newbery winning Mercy Suarez Changes Gears. Mercy's back. Mercy Suarez can't dance. <laughs> and from New York Times bestselling author Margaret Peterson Haddix, we have the third book in her Greystone Secret series. This one's called The Messengers. Now, if you recall, in the first book of the series, we meet a family who finds out that they're in a an alternate reality where there is another family that's just like theirs. Anyway, there's some going back and forth between the worlds. So the series continues on with the twists and turns of the Greystone secrets. What would you do if you would become a murder suspect if you admitted the truth? Oh. Luke and Oscar snuck out of their boarding school to have some fun in the woods. And the next morning, the wife of one of their teachers is found dead. Mm. Instead of admitting that they were breaking the rules and out in the woods, Luke and Oscar decide to solve the murder on their own. Mm. But the problem is there's a lot of suspects and there's a murderer looking for them. Check out The Murder Game by Carrie Doyle if you like a good murder mystery with a lot of exciting moments. We're excited by all the picture books that are doing such a fine job of representing all the kinds of people that are in our world. One of those such books is Talking Is Not My Thing by Rose Robbins. It's a book about two siblings where one talks and one does not. Our non-speaking sibling is the narrator of the books and her thoughts are expressed through bubbles. But it's a great introduction to autism and people who may be non-verbal in your child's world. Becky Albertalli, the author of Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda, as well as several other really great books, is back with Kate in Waiting. Kate and her best friend Anderson share a lot of things. It's easier that way. They also always get crushes on the same guy. It's fun, it's fine, it's never a problem until their new crush shows up at their school. Dun, 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 dun. And Kate really likes him. But is that worth breaking the friendship that she shares with Andy? She's got a lot of tough decisions to make. If you're looking for a great romance with some really great friendship, Kate in Waiting is for you. 
The next new picture book I want to talk about is called Watercress. The title caught my eye because I remember as a child it being a big deal to find watercress growing wild and harvesting it. It's exactly what happens in this picture book. Finding and harvesting the watercress brings up all sorts of painful and yet loving memories for this newly immigrated Chinese family. Written by Andrea Wang and illustrated by Jason Chin in She Drives Me Crazy by Kelly Quindlin, Scotty gets into a fender bender with the worst person ever, her nemesis, Irene. Oof. And because of this fender bender, Scotty and Irene are forced to carpool to school. <laughs> it's pretty tense. But then when Scotty gets an opportunity to get back at her ex and climb the social ranks at her school, she has an idea. They're going to fake date. Will Scotty's scheme reveal any actual feelings? Spoiler, it might. <laughs> if you want some rom-com level fun, check out She Drives Me Crazy. Next up, Ho'onani, Hula Warrior. Written by Heather Gale, illustrated by Micah Song. As you probably guessed, this book is set in Hawaii. Ho'onani wants to be a hula warrior, but that's typically a job reserved for boys. But Ho'onani persists. Ho'onani is just Ho'onani. Doesn't see herself as a girl or a boy. So she's determined to do the thing that she feels she is perfectly suited for. Ho'onani is a celebration of being true to yourself and of the loving way her family supports her. Last but not least in the team section, we've got Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Bully. This has been getting a lot of buzz. Look how beautiful the cover is, for one thing. It's a story about Donis, who's 18 and is a member of the Ojibwa tribe. When she witnesses a brutal murder, she gets pulled into a world she's never known and goes undercover to try to find out more about this lethal new drug that's showing up everywhere. As she does so, she's going to find secrets old and new. She's going to have to make some difficult choices about how far she'll go for her community. Last but not least is a book I can relate to personally. It's called Tao, and it's a picture book by Tao Lam. Tao is writing about having a name that's difficult for people to pronounce. It's beautifully illustrated. Here's a whole series of class pictures as end papers. And the book is littered with photographs of Tao when she was young. <laughs> Perfect way to really give the reader the sense of this very real problem for many people. And a look at why it's important to make an effort to get it right. So be sure to call us so we can hold these books for you. There are copies of all of them in the catalog already even if they're not our copies. So that'll get you in line quick to get a look for yourself. We're waiting here to get them to you. Until next time.